Welcome to Miura's How-To Guide. In a moment, we will cover step-by-step -step instructions on how to collect a boiler water sample. Warning. Always understand and follow the instructions and warnings for all equipment and material being used to reduce the risk of serious personal injury and product damage. Boiler water samples are performed to ensure that proper water treatment is applied and to see the boiler's current condition. Knowing what is going into your boiler is the key to running it properly. There are many types of water samples in a boiler system that vary upon setups. These include city water, RO or reverse osmosis water, soft water, feed water, deaerator water, boiler water, and condensate return water. For this example, we will perform a boiler water sample. To ensure safety, the following PPE is required for this process. Hard hat, safety glasses, safety shoes, heat resistant safety gloves, long sleeve shirt. The following tools will be used for this sample. A bucket or pitcher, water sample bottles, possibly a wrench. To avoid the mix-up of your samples, use appropriate labeling. Either place the corresponding label to the sample bottle or write the appropriate content information on the label. How to take a boiler water sample. If available, use the system sample cooler for your safety and convenience. If a sample cooler is not present, proceed with caution for the following steps. Remember, water coming out of the boiler is at a very high temperature, so remember to use the proper PPE. All water samples should be taken with heat resistant gloves due to this high water temperature. Locate the boiler's sample valve and slowly open. Drain water for five seconds. Letting the water drain for five seconds removes any sludge or debris in the water sampling line. Be aware that there will likely be a steam and water mixture released when opening the valve. Fill and rinse the pitcher or bucket three times. Make sure to discard the boiler water in a safe place such as a floor drain like the one pictured here. Now you're ready to collect the sample. Make sure you have enough sample water to rinse and fill the sample bottles. Also fill and rinse the sample bottle three times to collect the water. Pour the sample water from the pitcher to the sample bottle versus directly from the boiler to avoid injury. Make sure to fill the sample bottle all the way to the top, leaving no room for air. If you are collecting multiple water samples, be sure to rinse the pitcher or bucket for every sample taken. Now that your sample is collected, it's time to analyze the quality. The basic tools for a field water analysis are as follows. Water sample, graduated cylinder, pH scale, hardness checker, conductivity meter, analog or digital. First, we will do a hardness check on the water sample. Use extra sample water to rinse the graduated cylinder before testing. For an accurate reading, fill the graduated cylinder to 25 milliliters with sample water. Apply two drops of the hardness checker 9100 into the graduated cylinder and gently mix. If the sample water turns a pinkish or red color, this indicates that hardness has been detected. If the sample turns a bluish color, this indicates that the boiler water is indeed soft. Next, we will check the pH levels of our sample. Using a pH or litmus strip, simply dip the strip into the water sample. Remove and match the strip colors with the indicated chart on the test kit. Lastly, we will analyze the conductivity of the water sample. In this demonstration, we will be using an analog meter. Fill and rinse the conductivity reservoir three times to ensure for an accurate reading. 
pour sample water into conductivity reservoir. Once the reservoir is filled, press and hold the button in the front of the meter. Hold to allow the needle to show the proper result. Once these steps have been completed, you have successfully taken and analyzed a water sample safely. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more, be sure to like and subscribe and don't hesitate to meet us in the comments.